Hello guys. So in our previous lesson, before this, we say, uh, we understand what split programming is and what it is used for. And uh, uh, to recap, uh, we are this script programming is for iOS development. And uh, if you want to know more, you can see my previous video. And the previous video we set up our complete. A project that uh, we understand that how to set up Xcode, how to set up our playgrounds, and how to get started with Swift programming. If you do not have uh, Xcode or Mac system to get started with, you can go with the browser approach. You can see my previous video for that. And in this lesson, we are going to understand the core knowledge and the beginning of Swift programming, which is variables and constants which are the key points and the fundamentals beginning of programming in any languages uh, in any like in and if any if you are looking for in uh, programming in any other language these are the fundamental things that you have to get started with so first uh, we are going to start with variables and uh, as per their name variables that variable means changeable that value can be changed so let me just bring up my uh, solution print and the variable is consist of three things first we have to tell our uh, tell swift that we are going to use variable to use variable we have to type var and then we have to give the name of that variable okay and uh, it can be anything and but uh, you should be very descriptive about what you're going to name your variable or anything else because it for example if you are uh, if you your variable is going to contain something uh, about the about your pet name okay and that means then you can write it like pet name or something else if you, uh, that variable is going to contain your first name or somebody's first name you can name it like first name so it will be very easy for you to understand plus your coding uh, system will be very smart enough to do that okay but we are gonna talk about this in the end of the video that how to name your things and why it is like that so first now see the variable in the first even you start your new playground by the way, in previous video, I also tell you how to make playgrounds. So I have just made a new playground, and in the new new playground, Swift getting uh, get started with you one simple variable string, which is hello playground. So, if I want to make my own variable, I can type var. I can type first name, and uh, my name is Anil okay and I'm just going to print this thing now let me just first explain you why I just type print when I run my code from here uh, sometimes my system takes some time so when I run my code this side is going to print line by line whatever I'm writing and whatever the variables I'm creating this new line don't get worried about it this means this is a new line and you're jumping to another line and this is print is going to print whatever the code you are writing whatever your code is containing into uh, the console into the solution console that you can see here so see my first name is a, st a variable now variables can be a string or can be an integer means can be a number or something else how variable in swift variable automatically determines what kind of value you are providing it to it okay for example that we provided variable first name a value of string if you want to make a string in swift you just have to give two inverted commas and it will declare it will be declared as a string so if you provide this variable with the string it is automatically going to detect that what kind of data type what kind of data you are providing it to but what we can do is uh, again we can make a variable with different kind of data type 
we can make a variable of age is equal to 28 now variables automatically will detect that what kind of data what kind of values are been provided to it now this age is uh, if I print it is going to print as a string but this variable is an age now why variables are called changeable let's see how or let's see how why like how we can change variable see so this variable the first value of this variable is printed here as a nil now we can change this value on the go on runtime for example we can change first name is equal to mark so if i if I run my code again sorry I forgot to put print here and print first name see that first my variable value was a nil and then here I just changed variable value I just change the variable value here and you can see that the value has been changed inside a variable now two more concept to understand that one variable of one specific data type cannot add another specific data type for example if I try to give first name is equal to any integer value like 32 so it is gonna bring us some error we can't do that because you see cannot assign value of type int to a string because this is already defined here that this is a uh, this variable is a string type because first defined here we can only give its uh, own type to it 